Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. Today, my guest is Shauna Rosenbaum, and we are at Shauna's Pet Spa. Welcome, Shauna. Thank you. And who do we have here, Shauna? This is Quan. Um, I've had him since 2001. He's a really sweet boy. He's a good dog. He's always gone with me in the mobile. I decided to open the shop three years ago because it was getting hot for both of us. <laughs> and I wanted to be able to help more dogs and more customers being able to get their dogs groomed the right way. This open environment makes it a lot easier on the dogs and on us. Yeah, talk to me about that open environment. What does that mean? I see it. it is open. Yeah, we're um, an open environment, so we go ahead and make it easier for the dogs. Um, when they come in, they're a lot not as scared because they don't have to sit in a cage for three or four hours. And they enjoy the other company of the other dogs. A lot of them will, you know, the older dogs will just lay down and enjoy being able not to be laying in a cage, laying down. They enjoy being able to just lay on the tile, and it makes it a lot easier. A lot of your clients are snowbirds, is that correct? That's correct, and that means when the dogs leave for the summertime, it's a little depressing because we don't get to see them for six months. So it's a little depressing, but when they come back, we all enjoy it because we all get to see dogs that we haven't seen in a long time. They really do become family for you. Yes, they do. They all do. They all, we get really close to both the, the customers and the, and the dogs themselves, too. It's, we enjoy when we get to see the dogs come in for, the, for their grooming and then how good they look at the end. And I, I try to explain to all the customers, you know, about brushing their dogs, about the heat, that they can burn their feet on the heat, on the, you know, on the cement. We try to do a lot of educational stuff with the customers also. And then I heard you talk about uh, the special needs dogs, is that correct? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, we had um, two yesterday that were special needs that had been um, in, one had been in an accident and the other one had had some bad sur had had some surgery on the back of the legs and, and we work with them. We work with all special needs. Um, older dogs that are, are older and are having to get um, special grooming uh, techniques done, we work with all of those. I, I really feel good when I finish a dog and, and I know that I haven't put them in any pain because of how I've groomed them the right way instead of hurting them. Tell me a little bit about your education. You actually went to school to study to be a vet, didn't you? Yes, I went to vet tech school at Michigan State University and I also came back home, decided it was too difficult watching dogs in pain, and came back home and got a bachelor's degree, bachelor of arts degree at ASU, which ASU I consider now my, my school of choice. They are your alma mater. Yes. And then now you've been involved though with animals and for a long time. You started as a child, didn't you? Yes, I was dealing with, we always had dogs as a, as a kid, and I also always volunteered at vet, uh, veterinarian hospitals in junior high and uh, enjoyed it a lot. Um, always enjoyed working with the veterinarians and to this day I have to work with the veterinarians a lot too with the rescues that we have. Talk to me about your passion. I understand it's rescue dogs. Yes, we get them spayed or neutered and get their shots, their rabies, their distemper parvo, and their bordetella. We, all the girls uh, volunteer for their nail, free nail trims. With the free nail trims, people give us donations. Those donations go towards the rescue dogs. We don't ask for any um, donation. If people want to give a donation when they adopt a dog, that's fine, but we actually try to get most of it done through the free nail trims. You're a woman-owned business and you are making it in this economy. How does that make you feel? I love it. It's been three years from going from the mobile to the shop with the grooming and now we're a full-service boutique. You have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. <laughs>